Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a monthly, a tarot monthly horoscope using my Kabbalistic tarot cards and this is for zodiac signs and it's for the month of July 2017 and it is for you coming from Virgo. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic tarot cards quickly and the first card that I'm going to pull will have to do with your first 15 days of July. So let's start with your area of romance. You, it says here that a romance is possible but it comes with complications in the first 15 days. So you have to be a detective to find why the romance will come if you are looking for a new romance but why it comes with difficulties. If you are very careless, you are going to inherit the first 15 days of finding out that you made the wrong choice. If you already have a romance, the ongoing is steady, steady enough. There are some issues from your romance partner which are going to make you a little bit unhappy. I advise you not to dominate and to go along with the plan of your romance partner as best as you can and your first 15 days can be brought under control. Otherwise your differences are going to multiply. Regarding your marriage, the first 15 days show there is enough harmony to be together. But looking at the, the first 15 days, your moodiness or the moodiness of your, of your marriage partner may interfere. This also can be referred to your romance area, the moodiness can interfere. So you definitely don't want to be moody. Also be careful that in the first 15 days in your marriage situation, there are differences where finance is concerned, either the way to spend it or the way to use it or who should be in charge. Now, since this, this month, the uh, first 15 days of July are not totally supportive of you, but neither do they want to knock you down. But I rather that you give in and uh, go with the flow so that your marriage partner can be happy enough. This way, the first 15 days will be good enough in your area of marriage. General family areas, I don't see major disruption. I just feel an ongoing uh, situation. Some gloominess now and then will be seen in the first 15 days. So try to not bring past issues which are gloomy. All right. Regarding your career in the first 15 days, your career is at a standstill, which in a, in a way is good enough. There's no danger of losing a job or getting bad news like that. But if you expect forward moves, if you expect expansion, if you expect changes in your, in your existing career, they are not going to be very friendly in the end. So don't want to push your luck. Be status quo. That means stay as you are and be happy as you are in your existing career. Regarding business, yes, you can attract new businesses, but they will come with difficulties. Yes, your business partners or those you do business with can be stubborn and a bit unhappy with you. So you don't want to upset the apple cart, put it that way. Whatever business you have, consolidate and look after these businesses rather than wanting to add new businesses there. That would be my advice for you for the first 15 days. If you add on a new business line, it comes with some complication. There are short circuits taking place, which means that when you get this business, then you di discover the difficulties. Regarding general finances, they are good enough. They are not spectacular. There are no major losses in the first 15 days. Now regarding your health, uh, when I look at this, at this card, I worry about your stomach uh, or the whole digestive channel your esophagus, your stomach, your bowels, your colon. So when you identify problems in this area, you can either see a pharmacist or see a, a stomach specialist about it. It's not so serious but needs to be attended to. Now I'm going to give you your good ages in July and your good dates in July later on. So don't go away. I'm going to pull the next card and this will be to do with your last 15 days in July for you coming from Virgo. Your last 15 days get worse actually. So you have to be careful that a short circuiting happens. Let's start with your area of romance. Difficulty in communication that attracts lightning bolts this, this uh, card shows which means arguments and quarrels which get out of hand. Plenty of knives and daggers I see on this card. 
And so be careful that your last 15 days, if you are provocative, you are going to inherit a lot of problems in your area of romance in the last 15 days of July. If you lie low, if you take the soft approach, you can soften all the things that are promised here. And so let somebody, let your romance partner take the lead. Try to be agreeable. Regarding your marriage, the last 15 days also show a short circuiting which normally shows that communication levels become very weak, that support becomes very weak for each other, you and your marriage partner, and you don't want that. So do the opposite since you have heard this from me. It's better for you to give in to what your marriage partner, that as long as peace can be maintained in the last 15 days. Your ego has no place in the last 15 days. You cannot be demanding and don't be dominating either. Your general family areas are very uh, touchy, put it that way. The family can include parents, can include siblings as well. So don't let siblings or parents interfere in your marriage area for sure. They will only add on to the problems in the last 15 days. Regarding your career, you are not going to get what you expect, put it that way. So having heard that from me, why demand? Go with the flow. That way you will not be found as a difficult person uh, where you work. And so your bosses or the owner of the company that you work with is not going to find you as a difficult headache. So go with the flow. There's, there's, otherwise there's a danger of short circuit which can be that you may not be very welcome in your place of work in the, in the last 15 days. The last 15 days, I also worry about financial situations in business and in career. So you cannot afford to go spending or to make investments, buying a new car or investing in furniture or wanting to do things like that. You got to hold on to your finances for the whole month of July. And especially during the last 15 days where situations get very touchy. In your place of business, you cannot afford to be aggressive. Otherwise, you can lose a business, it says here, so, so strongly. So take the soft approach. Look for solutions calmly and softly. This way, you will hold on to the businesses you have. Okay? Your general financial area is not very steady in the last 15 days. So the last thing you want is to make new financial commitments in any shape or form. Just have whatever you have just to pass through the last 15 days calmly and you'll be good enough. Regarding your health, this card for you coming from Virgo, I worry about, if you are a woman, I worry about your gynecological areas having a short circuit, meaning that the sudden blow up in your gyne areas. If you are a man, I worry in the other glands, like your prostate gland and your thyroid gland as well, which shows that when, when a thyroid gland like shows instability, your temper can be shown very fast. So no harm talking to a doctor about your gland, glandular area. Now for you coming from Virgo, I'm going to give you your good dates firstly. And the good dates I've chosen for you, let's look at both the cards. The good dates I've chosen for you in the month of July for you coming from Virgo are the 4th, the 13th, the 22nd and the 31st of July are going to be very lucky for you. And so looking at these dates, plan whatever you want to do, bookmark these dates. Morning, noon and night you will be able to accomplish more than you expect for the whole month of July. Regarding your good ages, if you happen to be the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58, or 67 or 70, 75. You are going to be extremely lucky. Um, not 75, but uh, 76. Not 75, but 76. You are going to be extremely lucky and uh, you're going to, to surpass your expectations in any area of your life. If you're not any of these ages, don't panic. You'll just have to listen to my advice carefully and you will day by day be able to control this month of July for you. Now, I'm already Skyping and I'm using, I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And that will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth, looking at your palms, 
when I'm watching you on Skype, I'll be reading your face as well. And if you want to use Kabbalistic tarot cards, by all means, I will do that in the 90 minute session. And uh, all areas of your life for the next five or six years, I'll be very accurate for you. So go to Facebook and follow me and communicate with me. Make a date to Skype, ask me questions. Or go to Skype itself and uh, leave me a message and I'll come back to you. Until then, thank you and good luck.